This is what I'm photographing today, and I'm focusing on loving bees, but more importantly, how to photograph them well while you love them. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, this light just dramatically changed, so I have to quickly change my setting. Oh, this one's dancing. This one danced. He like shook himself like a dog. And I'm dropping my ISO. I want to keep my shutter speed pretty high because they're really fast moving. And I'm staying at an F8. One of my main goals is to get a really clear, sharp macro shot. Uh, that will be very challenging to me because I think these are terrifying. Oh man, that's the swarmy part. No, I don't want to go down there. No. <laughs> I also want to get uh, a shot of all the bees, as many as I can get in, in one shot. Oh, this is so pretty. Hey, can you get out of the way? No, not you, that guy. No. Yeah, that's photographically what I'm going for. So we're going to go out to meet about 70,000 bees. Bees, as many people know, um, are facing a terrible march to extinction. There's less and less bees everywhere, and they're a huge, pivotal part of our entire, entire ecosystem. And how long have you been doing uh, backyard beekeeping? Would you call it backyard beekeeping? Mm -hmm. Okay. Our hobbyist. Okay. This is the sixth season. Do you think it'll be okay to get close enough to do macro shots where it's right on the bee? I hope so. I'm going to have two cameras on me. The one is the D850 with the macro lens, which is again what I'm trying to go for, the 105-28 macro lens. The other one is the D500, and I'm going to attach to it the 2470 F2.8. The reason I'm going to be shooting with the D500 is it's a crop sensor, which combined with the 70 millimeter allows me to get even closer than that in terms of the reach I'll have. It does blur your vision a bit, huh? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to keep my shutter speed up because I don't know how fast these guys will be moving. Oh, I feel like I've got to get very close to get a macro. So I, I don't want to bring a tripod in here because I'm afraid it's going to make me look like a bear if I'm this close. Um, the one thing I'm noticing is that I have to do a bit of pre-focusing, which is not easy for macro shooting, but they're just so fast moving. I kind of got to figure out where they're going to be and get ready. Hey, wait, this one's a good one. Oh, we got it right on the honey. You did such a good job. Are they like on me particularly, or is that just me? It normally does in a macro, the closer you get to a subject, the, the more narrow your aperture needs to be, um, because the closer and closer you get, the less is in focus. Wow, you can get their eyes and everything. But this time I want to get a macro where there's one bee, like on top, but a wider field of focus so other ones are clearly in the shot as well. This macro is a one-to-one, -one, which affords me the ability to get so close that I can fill the entire frame with just one bee. Oh, I just got the shot, yes. So what I'm gonna do here, because I wanna go in and really show that mess of awesomeness, I'm, I wanna shoot it at F16. Um, I wanna keep my shutter speed uh, over at least one two hundredth, which is a little low for my preferences here, but that said, because I'm going deep in there and it gets really dark in there, really boost my ISO up. So I'm gonna boost it to like a 5,000. I'm gonna bring it down to 1 60th and then just bring that aperture down to F14. Oh, that's a cool shot. So the, my thought is I have them all going up and I wanna shoot a little bit down at them. Oh, this is it, this is it. Wait, 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 don't move anything. This is the angle. I wanted to get that shot and I got it. A couple of my most favorite shots. One is that whole look at where the entire frame is covered in a multitude of bees. I thought that was a very cool shot. I tried to get it at a narrower aperture, so to show more texture and, and more of the overall feel of looking at that many bees together. And another one was just the beautiful macro with those iridescent wings when the light just hit perfectly, as well as that beautiful honeycomb look was really striking. So that's enough. All right, guys, that's a wrap. We'll see you later. Thank you for not stinging us in any way. I think, I shouldn't say that until we're out of here.